Hi, this is Michelle Johnson, IFBB Pro, Team Beauty Fit Athlete, and Coach for Team Knockouts. I'm here for another episode of Let's Talk. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so this episode of Let's Talk, we are going to talk about what you need to know about your show. Yes, there are things you need to know that could make or break your very first show. Number one, get a coach. Why? Super important because you need to understand diet and training well. If you're a beginner, you don't know this. What m miffs me, I don't even know, I never even say that saying, but what annoys me the most is when people do two shows and they think they're now a coach. It's just bizarre. Like, where are your skills? But anyways, the coaching is so critical because you need somebody who understands not how to train in the gym, not just to be your average, you know, Joe that knows a few things about protein. This is entirely about manipulating your body with food and exercise in order to define it for your division that you're entering, whether it's bikini or let's say figure. Now, what are the judges looking for? The judges are looking for, for bikini, the booty. That's, you know, you hear that on Facebook and all over the place. Booty, 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 right? So what about the booty? It's, it's not just who has the biggest, largest badonk donk It's about who has round glutes, a nice glute hamstring tie-in, the front of the thighs are equally as toned as the back of the thighs. Technically, you're not supposed to have a quad sweep or a six-pack. You're supposed to have flat abs. We know sometimes that doesn't always come out that way, but Depending on who shows up, the judges make a decision on who they think looks best. But technically, as a coach, I'm not training my girls to have quad sweeps and defined abs unless they tell me they really want it, and it's up to them if they want to take that chance. But coming from the gods of the MPC and IFBB, it's technically supposed to be flat abs, no quad sweep, and girls that really don't look like they overdo it at the gym. We are now seeing different versions of that. So the best way to go is symmetry and balance from top to bottom, nice skin tone, great complexion. You know, bikini's kind of the Miss Universe of the bodybuilding. She's, you know, beautiful, the bikini winners, or she's, she's supposed to be the one that has, you know, glamorous um, hair and makeup and and really knows how to move on stage and has these beautiful curves and a femininity that's what defines bikini as far as I'm concerned the figure is more for the person that likes to train heavy and hard in the gym you know wants biceps and cap shoulders a six-pack and doesn't have the biggest butt um, so the the idea is again balance and symmetry throughout the entire sport of bodybuilding. Now your body fat levels depend on what you sign up for. Bikini has the highest body fat, figure less, physique even less, and bodybuilding the lowest. So bikini is the easiest one to jump into as far as body fat reduction goes. And in order to be able to stay the duration or stay the course of your program, you really need to keep your stress levels down. If you have high stress, if you have children that are out of control or let's say you have any sick children or you're a single mom and you don't have resources and you're signing up for shows, you know, I hate to say it, but maybe your priorities aren't straight. I understand. I know everybody wants to do a show, but you need to have money, you need to have time, you need to have energy, and if you can't handle the guilt and the shame around neglecting your family life, it's going to be hard for you because there are other competitors that are not struggling with these things. Now, I'm not saying don't do a show, but keep in perspective there are better times to do a show. If you have trip after trip after trip coming up, again, bikini may not be right for you unless you're super disciplined and you're willing to carry your food everywhere make sure you're still eating even if you're in a foreign country on the plan which sometimes can be nearly impossible so my advice to you if you are doing a lot of traveling is start early go on your trip take that week off and then continue on but plan with your coach effectively it's good to tell your coach up front this is what I'm dealing with and hear them out because coaches only have your best interest at heart whether you believe it or not 
The other thing is, um, as far as the judging criteria goes and, and why it seems to be all over the place, I don't think that it's the judges are making bad judgment calls necessarily. Of course, as a coach, when my girls aren't number one, I'm going to be upset. But I think it's that the competitors are all over the place. And what the judges say is it's all about who shows up. I know when we've seen lots of girls on stage and we're sitting there and we're looking at all this talent up there, the one that's going to stand out is the one who has great posing and presentation skills if you have three girls that the bodies are all on point. So don't take your posing for granted. You need 10,000 hours of practice. That's what they say in Outliers in order to really become a master of something or, or very good at it. So practice, practice, practice in front of mirrors. Look at IFBB Pro videos. Emulate. But remember, you need to be practicing a routine, and this is where an expert can come in to help you with posing that fits your body. It's all about the finished product and the showmanship of that product and being able to pull out those lines. There's so much craziness going on stage now. It's, it looks like nervous tics. It's almost like a comedy act with some people because they're doing way too much. No one ever said it was all that. If you read the rules, you need a front pose, and a back pose and you need to know how to transition gracefully from front to back back to front and then wave everything else you do is more advanced it's like a baseball player you don't throw a fast pitch before you work on your skill so work on your skills know your footing um, know your lines and again that evolves with progress so don't be upset with your coach or if they change it it's necessary because your body is changing as you go so you need to be able to move in various directions if you're not very graceful of a mover then again a posing coach can customize something for you that helps you with the awkwardness of your moves to sort of minimize how that's going to come through on stage nerves are so important so learning to master your nerves by posing in front of other people mentally just reminding yourself this is just a show this doesn't make or break your who you are your identity you know crying and and putting yourself through hell over a show it's just not worth it I mean everyone should have a great experience doing this you're signing up for this voluntarily most people are not making a career of this I know everybody wants to be an IFBB pro right away I get calls all the time I'm, I want to be an IFBB pro well I'm just gonna tell you do one show first. Let's see how you mentally handle it. Let's see what, how this goes for you. And then to do show after show and to stay on a plan year long, you know, that's a whole nother animal. So you have to understand what being a pro is. It doesn't come easy. It's going to be a lot of practice. Um, very few people just jump right up to the top. Some do, but overall you're going to pay your dues. So get the right coaching, learn how to pose like a pro, and make sure you understand the judging criteria and do all you can to meet that in order to be successful in the sport of bodybuilding. And that sums it up for this Let's Talk version. If you would like to follow me, michellefitness.com, team-knockouts.com, or you can email me, michelle at michellefitness.com, with any of your questions, comments, or concerns. There will be one more video um, coming up. And if you'd like to let me know what you would like it to be about, I'm happy to listen in. So be sure you do email me. Have a great evening. Bye.